Hey fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and this is a real quick shop update. I wanted to kind of give you guys a look around the desk on what's here and what I have available and some of the stuff that I have just finished doing for Sherpa. So actually, let's start with that. This has been a really cool project. I really enjoyed doing this with these guys. Steve and Pasong over at Sherpa Bates sent me 15 of their minis. And it is going to be partnered with uh, a really cool watercolor piece that I actually did a while ago, but it kind of has the same look and feel of what their baits represent, which is a very unique pattern. It's thick. There's a really cool coffin bill on the edge of it, on the lip. And they didn't send me any tails, so I cannot show you that. But this is just some a big fun pattern that I did and had a blast doing it with these guys. So thank you to Sherpa for sending me some stuff that I could collab with you guys on. I've got two style eyes. I've got the reddish, almost purple that matches some of the uh, violet on the base of it. It's like that lilac color. And then I did an orange fun eye because they're fun baits they're so unique um there is not another swim bait on the market that looks like these guys so again from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for the collabs and if you guys are interested in having me paint for you as an artist if you want it's, i know a lot of people think that i work exclusively with mike and with Ketchco, but i am more than open to entertain possibilities and collabs and have some fun i think it could be a blast and if you're interested, drop me a comment or you know how to get a hold of me, I would imagine. So that is these, and there are several of them. I'm going to do something really cool with them as far as um, when Steve, when I send them back to him to, uh, to sell these. But in the near future, you guys will get these available to you from Sharpa Bates. So thanks again. Also, I've got these beautiful trout patterns from a catch that I had uh, last week. So I went ahead and painted up a bunch of these. If you're not familiar with this, um, first was introduced to this bait from Johnston Lure Company. They are a musky and pike fishing company out of Canada and won a contest. This was years and years, probably close to eight years ago. I won a contest for, um, I did two patterns. I did a rainbow trout and I did... Um, at least I think it was rainbow trout. It's been so long. And I did a brook trout and I was, there were two different types of baits that they uh, represented. One was a perch and one was the salmon, salmonoid type pattern. So I was really lucky to get first place on that. And I got a bunch of blanks from them and I have been uh, using blanks of theirs ever since. So these, um, it's like a giant crankbait. They go about three to four feet in the water column and they've got a wicked kick and action. They're super loud and it's just a fun pattern. And I will show you what I referenced right now. I also made a few of the same pattern on wake baits and jerk baits. Also super fun. And on these bent meadows, I normally only fish stuff like this in the winter just because it is uh, like a dead, dead stick twitch bait, but it's very effective when you have cooler water and when you're starting to see a lot of shad die off and, and maybe some w more wounded things because everybody's feeding heavy this time of the year for their winter hibernation and fish don't really hibernate they eat year round but it is a lot slower when the water is colder so this is the pattern Let's see if we can get some there we go i was gonna say don't know why it's not uh getting a little bit closer but just just a lot of fun with these and also did them on a medium diver got a couple of I was just uh, dressing a few baits. I was dressing these Sherpas. And what I mean by dressing is I want to make sure that all of the hardware, all the eyelets are clear of paint. That way, if you, if you guys aren't taking all your paint off or you get a bait that's got some paint on there, uh, go ahead and pull that off because eventually 
it's going to wear at your line and it can mess up your eyelet too and it can it can affect how it swims and all that good stuff so make sure you turn over if you're a painter the best bait that you can make sure that everything is super clean and looks good no blems just just a little food for thought so and then i did uh, the same pattern on these magnums and these are the Rapala Magnums. This is a great big bait. It's, um, this is, I think, a, a five and a half inch. And then these guys are six inch, just comparatively. So this is a little bit, well, I would say body, yeah, they're a little bit smaller, about five and a half. If you're not looking at the lip, you're just looking from nose to tail. So it's a little bit shorter. So, but a little bit of transparency at the bottom. And these also, have a super loud rattle, great action in the water. Uh, normally you'll see this more in salt water than you will in, uh, in fresh water, but you can certainly use them almost like the bull mullet. That's uh, almost like a cross crossbred bait where you can effectively use them in either. And obviously these are hot off the clear coat rack, so I do not have these dressed up as of yet. You can still see a little bit of clear coat in there. But they are on the website and we'll have split rings in the whole nine yards when you guys get them. These are also available on the website, this craw pattern. As are this five inch that I did in trout. It's a little stiff, but that'll come out over time. And I have one of these left. For some reason, I hadn't put this one on the website or I had a quantity mixed up, but this is a peacock and this is a six inch. And you can tell the six inch from the five inch pretty easily. Again, that difference in length. But same serpentine action in the water, peacock and the rainbow juvenile trout and a medium diver as well. So that is all the news that's fit to print today. Um, I think I've covered all the bases. Got you. Yep. The jerk bait. So you guys are seeing what's going on with me. I'm getting ready to paint a bunch more stuff and I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.